International Beach Cleanup Day. So we're out, the sun's out. We, we were up at six in the morning. It's 7.30 now. We're getting ready with Kristen Weed. We're loading up the truck. She has water and snacks that she's taken to all the stops and we're gonna ride along with her, figure out what her day's like. It's your baby. It is. It's finally here. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel great. Yeah. I'm psyched. I'm ready to go. Got my coffee. I'm ready. You got your coffee and you got... I have Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bill is my sidekick today. He's one of my board members and he's going to be driving around with me today. First stop, Mattapique. How mm -hmm. many stops do we have? Well, technically it's nine because we're just leaving one. So there's ten total. Mm -hmm. Ted, I think we made a huge mistake. We're making, making for a short trip. Really. Right. We want to go back to Amway. Yes, my feet are tired. How many years have you been doing this for the International Day, the big one? This is the sixth year. It's funny, you talk about like 200 and some people. When we first moved here, this cleanup is the reason why we, we started Ken Island Beach Cleanups. And the first International Coastal Cleanup that I participated in was at Terrapin with five other people. That was it, six of us. And it was literally, we all had our own clipboards, the data card and a pen and one trash bag. So we have 200 people out here waiting for us at all these different stops. I would think it's going to be more, but that's just an estimate. Last year it was like 165, 170. And even that, that was our largest turnout. So at every uh, stop there's people with a table like we just saw where people are yep. organizing? Yep. It's a big production getting ready for this. You think you're organized and you're ready to go, and there's always something you've missed. It's, we're about to find out. That's right. Unless you walk through the woods, you can't get to here. Yeah. Well, think of it as here. Seven fifty-nine. It's about to officially start, and we're at the first stop, Matta Peak, and we're with Kristen. And Kristen, can you walk us through what's going to happen for all the volunteers that show up? Yep. So here at Meta Peak, they are going to be greeted by two of my board members, Doris and Kathleen, and they've set up the sign-in table here where volunteers will come and they will sign in with their email and they'll let us know if their child needs volunteer service hours, which we will award for today to them. Um, they sign a participation waiver and then they are given the International Coastal Cleanup data card and this is the most important piece of today and what makes this cleanup much more unique uh, than all the other cleanups. So they'll fill this out with their information, uh, how many people in their party, uh, what group they're affiliated with, if any. And then on the back, you can see here, the trash that's collected, they have to mark it. So it's anything like you're most likely to find items, like food wrappers, <laughs> takeout containers, bottles, uh, cigarette butts, unfortunately. And then you have fishing gear, pack packaging materials, um, other trash, and tiny trash, which are um, really, really small micro pieces, which that's our big push right now, is because of all the plastic that's breaking down in the ocean. Got it. Um, yeah. And then I have the fun job at the end of the day of tallying all of this, so maybe 200 plus of these will be tallied. And then uh, we have a nice little thank you packet to give to everybody today too, which we've never done before. And it's going to give people a little bit more information on who we are and Great. why we need them back. Yeah. So you know what else the Ocean Conservancy has? They have an app, like an actual app now where you can record your trash via the app. You just download the app, you take, I mean, even if you were to take a grocery, a plastic grocery bag out and clean, say for an hour on your road, all you have to do is just put the city and state of where you are and then you enter the debris that you pick up on the app and done. And you've participated in the event. Your mom and pop cleanup crew. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But you're right, it absolutely is set up to make it just simple and easy for someone to join. You make things difficult for people and people aren't going to do it. I get to go through everybody's junk and pull the recycles out. <laughs> <laughs> so she sits me down My with a bucket and bins she's and everybody brings me their pickups and then I sort out the plastics and the tin and glass and so on. Um, but it's, it's a great opportunity to reinforce, especially for young people. How much of everything you find do you feel like is, like percentage-wise, is recyclable? Um, I would go as far as to say 80 to 85%. Holy cow. Yeah. Maybe even more depending upon yeah. the area. Yeah, I agree. And that right there is something that is, is, that's such a powerful number. The only thing you really can't recycle, obviously, is your food. I mean, you can compost that, but your food and like a plastic bag. So you can't recycle a plastic bag, really. I mean, you can save it and reuse it, 
but right. pretty much every other piece of plastic that you have in your house, like a food container, takeout container, or any food that you buy at the grocery store, it comes in plastic, you can recycle that. Obviously, you can recycle glass and aluminum too. We're at Roman Co. Stop number three, 820. We're still rolling. So we have a bucket with a whole bunch of small stuff here. Yes. What'd you find? Tons and tons of glass. See? Man. And some plastics too, right? Yep. Yeah, lots of plastic. That's a little micro. And you've only been at it for 20 five minutes. minutes. Five <laughs> minutes, five minutes. That's crazy. So. so what's the main area to clean up around here? Like where, where do we I do this up? whole area here. Okay. You know, and I'll send them on the pier and pull off fishing line. And I started with the parking lot figuring it'd be easy and that's where I found all the glass. So do they pick the same like international beach cleanup weekend? About the same time of the year, every oh. year? Is it always in September? Or? Yes, go this way, go straight. Yep. Um, it's always in September. It's always around the third weekend in the, or in the middle of the month. Right. But the date, you know, will change a little bit. Right where that car turned, yep. you'll make a right. Uh huh. And we, like, had we a went up to 10 feet in the guys. creek. Those are ours too. Oh, wow. My son and brought you, those up. You guys have done really well in a short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't, they, they got here. On page three of my sign too. <laughs> yeah. Aww. One brother. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> See, you know. So now Jennifer, she's a teacher at Stevensville Middle. Okay. So this is her first year as a site captain, but like she's a pro at cleaning up because she's been with us for years. So. How's it going first year? It's going pretty good. Yeah. Like I said, we've just been going what less than an hour, and this is all the trash we've picked up so far. So. Yeah. So it's just before nine o'clock, and we're at stop four, Old Love Point Park. In this place, you always forget that this place has lightning flies. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay. Fairy Point Park, we got water. <laughs> it's I know. Well, this is Katie and Jamie. They are from Graysonville. She goes to Gunston, and he goes to St. Really? Peter and Paul now, right? St. Yep. Peter and Paul. Awesome. A freshman, and she's a junior. Awesome. You getting Thank some service learning out. hours? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What do you think? Has it been fun so far? It's been pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Filled What's the weirdest up. thing you found? Three socks. Three socks. <laughs> where's the where's the fourth? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we found two matching socks and then just another one. <laughs> so there's someone right now that's just at home putting a sock on. They're like, wait. <laughs> we found 30 yards of fishing line. That's a lot. It's crazy. Amount of time. It, is, right. it is awful. It's I mean, awful. It's, it, it's made from plastic. It's and terrible. We left all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, all these no, we found a bunch of those. Did we find a lot of these? Yeah, yeah we, we Hello, found like, how we must find people like fishing and drinking. So you're the intern? Yes. Correct. Paid or unpaid intern? Unpaid. So you're volunteering, you're one! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're all unpaid. I mean, technically, as Kristen's also a volunteer. We're right. See? All. Yeah, we're all here. Hi! What'd you say? Oh, they, yeah, there's only like a few people back there. I so saw, they like, can. The whole yeah. They were just like, I was like, oh, there I must know. not be any more great. trash. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Thanks. Hi, guys. Have Thanks. a great day. See you. Ya. too. On to the next site. Yeah, we're just rushing, rushing. There's Bill. He's my our, our, hey our chauffeur today. Cool. We haven't. I haven't scared them away yet. We're good. <laughs> it's just because we need to ride back to the cars. Yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> it is a long distance. Car. Thank you. Yeah, guys. I tell you what. Some of you sent in. Some of you might. Talk so we're at a uh, stop. It's like six, I think. Uh, we're at the Kenton Arrows, and we have lots of kids from Spalding here, and they found all types of things. Passengers on Spaceship Earth. Oh, I met Christina first, and I met her through friends of friends when I did that first cleanup through um, the with the Ocean Conservancy, like this one, um, six years ago. And it was funny; she, like many of those volunteers, volunteered at Seabeck. So it was through the Ocean Conservancy and Seabeck that I met Christina. And she's that's why she's one of the site captains. You can see she's got a whole situation down and. She knows how to ed educate them on the, the data card, and she always pulls a good group of kids out here. So what's the weirdest thing you found today? Well, I found a, um, a big box of beer with, with ants and bugs all over it. And you brought it back, right? Yeah. We cleaned it up, put it in a bag. Where is it? Uh, in one of those bags over there. Chris, and I'll take care of that one. So it's so important to do beach cleanups that even if you're injured, you should still come out, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. 
So what happened to you? Um, I was at Sky Zone and I was jumping and I just my ankle. <laughs> I told you to come up with a better story than that. Okay, okay. I was doing a back dive off of this thing into like a great white shark pit and you know, one of the sharks got me. <laughs> It bit off her. It bit off her foot, so they gave her a boot. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. We can drive down to the beach if you want. I, mean, I drive can't down tell the you road. how long it takes me okay. to okay. If you want to take pictures down there. He, okay. he feels like he's big and like on the inside. I know. <laughs> It's a little past 10 o'clock, now we're at the Big Boy. We're at Terrapin Beach, where we have about 80 people, and we're gaining more every second to go out and clean up the beach. So we're going to go down with Krista and check that out. So where are we going to find your husband at? I don't know. He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> he's just... No, he's, direct, he's probably directing people to go down, because now when you come here and fish, you have to go past the little bridge. OK. So we'll probably drive down there and see more people. This is such a large park. You could just you could spend days cleaning this place. So, so. He'll, he'll either be down there or he's going to be in a boat out in the That's middle right. just going away. That's right. <laughs> Never to be seen Drinking again. a beer, right? <laughs> he's done. He's ready to drink a beer and be done for the day. When we first moved here, this beach, you couldn't even walk 10 feet without seeing beer cans and plastic bags everywhere. Um, to be, And I come here and I run on my, on my, in my free time and it's, it's really, it's a lot cleaner than it used to be. The overall consensus is that between the rangers and all of our efforts and just more and more people becoming familiar with keeping this place clean, it's, it's, it's just improved drastically. All right, guys, so we're out here. You guys have already been to two beaches today, right? right. So where'd you guys start at? Uh, we started at Hemingway's Beach, just on the other side of the bridge over there, huh? and now we came here. Right, and we're over here, but you found some weird stuff over at Hemingway's, right? Yeah. What'd you find? Uh, a couple of uh, fish carcasses. That was, <laughs> that was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, lots of milk jugs. An uncanny amount of milk jugs. Right. So is this your first time coming out here and doing this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys out here for service learning hours or just because you want to help out or both? Uh, we are with Island Alliance Church. We're a youth group. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So we're coming out here. It's a service project. Great, great. For us. Yeah. And you guys are enjoying the day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a great day. Yeah, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. there he is. What's up? Well, they're taking us around to see it. There you go. Um, you look around and it looks clean, right? Because you're like, oh, I don't really see anything. But again, it's this big, big push for the micro pieces of um, trash. I like for instance, yeah. you're standing by one. Behind you is a piece of plastic. And I know that like to a lot of people, this stuff is like, oh, well, you know, it's not a big deal. It's right. a clean beach. But in fact, when you think about all this stuff adding up, it's really bad because that cigarette butt will be around for hundreds of years. Right. Yeah, so, you don't even realize that we're walking on it. Exactly. Like you don't really even look down well, when you're walking. I'm, I'm crazy trash lady. Like I see this stuff, I can't not think about it. So she um, is tra crazy trash lady. <laughs> yeah, you you married crazy trash. Lady. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So one of our international coastal cleanups that we had when we just had it here, people were actually in the water here picking up trash. Oh, so again, you need specific supplies for that, and but. Yeah, I mean, think about all the stuff that we're picking up here on the beach that maybe we've missed, and it's made its way back here. Uh -huh. That will you'll never find. You know, it'll, it'll just be back there forever. The cause is so great, and Kristen's reach is so far now that we even got kids from the Naval Academy, and we had a chance to talk to some of them. So we're the Ocean Club, um, and we we kind of just do beach cleanups, or we did a beach cleanup, and I think it was like a lot further like actually on the coast last time. And so we were just like starting out the semester and we were looking for stuff around here. And then I, I just looked up like, okay, what are some um, cleanups around here? And I was looking for beach and like, cause there's not like yeah. beach you have to drive like and two and a half like hours usually. Was it a Google from, search? From Kristen, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I just reached out to a couple of people and um, uh, Christian, you actually had like the beach, uh, cleanups like everyone else was doing some other type of like cleanup not actually like doing a beach one or not doing the international coastal cleanup which right. I kind of wanted to take part in cool. so I when I heard of that you were doing this and going all around the counties and stuff I was like oh this is super cool like thank you um, so you're all from the Naval Academy mm -hmm. that's all how many people came out today um we had about I want to say maybe 20 or so no no we had about 15 yeah okay. 15 um but yeah so I'm from San Diego and like I do beach cleanups all the time in San Diego we go like Tijuana estuaries 
as well, and like you find really random objects. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah, just like literally the most object, random objects you can find, like pants, one like clothes and furniture. Like I see you got a seat right there. So yeah, I'm always like looking for more opportunities to do that. So this is great. Well, now you have one. I know. All right, we're staying here with Sarah, one of the younger helpers. What'd you find today, Sarah? I found cigarettes. Lots of styrofoam. styrofoam. Lots of small yeah. styrofoam. Yeah, lots of cigarettes. They said that's the most common thing, right? Yeah. Well, that and the styrofoam. We saw a lot of little styrofoam. pieces of styrofoam everywhere. Yeah. Up in the grass. The so that's great. Is this your first year helping out? Yeah. Yeah? Did you have fun? Yeah. You want to keep coming back? Yeah. <laughs> keep cleaning up the beach. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> so we're back where we started the day. The day's not over for Kristen, but we're going to say our goodbyes. We have our, our one pile for more of our collections. So Kristen, can you take us home here? What was this day like for you? It's a crazy day. I mean, it's very exciting. It's so awesome to see your community come out and have people of all ages and backgrounds come out and, and not only pick up trash, but learn about why it's so important, why we do what we do here at Penn Island Beach Cleanups. And so, of course, now I have the task of going home and counting everything. <laughs> the fun part. It is. It's yeah. fun. It actually is. It's pretty interesting. So we're, we're leaving you today. International Coastal Cleanup Day is done for us. But I know you're going to keep doing your thing all year round. So I know we're going to see you again. Special thanks to Bill for driving around all day right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so you keep doing your thing and we'll see you next time sweet thank you all guys right. no problem